Greetings hobbyists, this is Arthur of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at a tool to help you organise your add-ons. So whether they're native add-ons to Blender that you can just add through the preferences or ones that you have to install, add-ons are really really useful to help you get a really efficient workflow in Blender. And for some add-ons, if you press the end panel, they will be added to your end panel here, and we can see mine down the side. For example, in the edit, I've got ball tools, which adds a lot of different Boolean operations. And if I go into edit mode, then you can see it also adds in loop tools, which also adds some really nice functionality into it. But as well as these native ones like screencast keys, obviously I use a lot of screencasting when I'm making these videos. We have ones like box cutter and hard ops and things like that, construction lines. And this gets to be a bit much, like this is quite a lot and you start having to scroll up and down. You've got ones that are really long like screencast keys, which take up a lot of real estate. And if you're ever gonna use a different window as well, for example, if I've got the geometry nodes up here, this becomes really, really compacted and you've got to scroll on through to find your different add-ons, which is quite annoying. Luckily, there's a tool to help you deal with this and it is free. It's called Simple Tabs and it's on Chip Walters' page, though I believe it's been largely programmed by Bongiorno7 and I think Master Xeon, who makes other add-ons as well, has been involved in this. And you just type in zero here, click I want this and you'll get it for free. But obviously, you could put in another value there to give them a bit of a tip as well so they get some money. And you just install this as any other add-on. So edit, preferences, go to add-ons and install. So you can see here I've got, well, past iterations, but quite a lot of different add-ons here. I'm just gonna go to simple tabs, install add-on, and then I can click that and we've got it there. And we all notice we get this round blob that instantly appears. Now, this looks like it's not doing anything, but as soon as we click here and then you click refresh, you get up all of your items that are on the side here. Now, the first thing this is gonna allow you to do is move things up and down this menu. For example, edit, I actually think should be right at the top. Click update, and you'll now notice that edit is at the top after item and tools, which I think has to remain at the top. So that's really helpful. You can start moving things around. For example, power save, literally all of the options here for power save are exactly the same ones here. So I really don't need that being visible to me. So I'm just gonna put that all the way down to the bottom and then update it. So now I don't have that getting in the way. Similarly, I use 3D print toolbox a hell of a lot. So let's put that all the way to the top and again, apply that. So that first function is really handy. It's gonna help you just put things into a better order. The other thing that it can allow you to do is rename some of your items. For example, screencast keys takes a lot of space. If I just call this cast and then apply that, it's now taking up a lot less space than it would have done before. And actually I want this relatively towards the top because I need to use it every time I do one of these videos. The other thing that it allows us to do is that I might want to combine some of these panels together. For example, just panels, which I've got over here, allows me to add panel lines to an object, but I think of this in a similar way to ball tools. So I might want that in the edit panel as well. So if I come up to here, notice we've already got the edit panel, but if I go to just panels and type in edit here and then refresh that, now you'll notice that has disappeared, but we've got an edit panel here that has got just panels on it, but it's also got ball tools, as well as the kit up section that comes with just panels. So now my editing comes together here. Now, there is one limitation to this. For example, I'd quite like to put box cutter and hard ops together, but that won't work. They've got separate programming apparently that means that this won't be able to be affected by this. So I will put them together because that just seems to make sense for me. A similar example would be that I've got this landscaping tool here, which for some reason has create as its tab. And then I've got Caramorph, which creates a character and allows you to rig it. So I think of those relatively similar. They're both generating an object. So I'm gonna put generate for both of those, apply that. And then now we've got one generate tab, which has got all of those together. So it's a quick tool that's just gonna allow you to change around where things are on your M panel, which is just gonna save you space and make things hopefully a little bit easier to find. Have a great day, guys.